Hello everyone, how are you doing? And welcome to Fishing Planet, the ultimate fishing simulator. So I have got this, this is the beta version of the simulator, and basically I'm just going to give it a go and see what this simulator has to offer. I'm going to say at this stage, which I, this is all totally true, I have never ever fished in my entire life, and for that matter I have never played a fishing simulator. So this is entirely new to me. So I'm, so, I'm sure some of the terminology in here will be uh, unfamiliar to me as well. So let's get going. I'm going to press play and we're going to get straight into it. I have admittedly done the tutorial for this uh, simulator, so I kind of know what to expect. The graphics are absolutely fantastic. Um, so if you are someone who genuinely enjoys fishing, this is going to be absolutely amazing for you. Um, I believe this is actually coming out to Steam very soon uh, as a free-to-play game. Don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure that is correct. I have put in the description below all of the community links, along with the Steam store page as well. So you can go over there, see the system specs, see what else it's got to offer, go on the forums, all kinds of stuff. But anyway, here we go. We're going to get cracking. So this is the last Songs of Summer. That's what this scenario is called. I think this is probably a good time for me to come into this part of the simulator. There is a lot of different sections and I am not sure of all of them because I am new to this. I haven't really done a lot on this and also I have no idea about fishing. So really, uh, this is all new to me and probably just as new to you. So this is the last songs of summer on the Mudwater River, Missouri. Enjoy a day full of fishing excitement on the Mudwater River. The river's curvy west bank with its gently sloping shores and some sandy drop-offs is beautifully outlined by some tall poplar trees and graciously sprawling willows. Let's just go down here. The jolly chirping of red cardinals and the buzzing of occasional flies will be the only thing distracting you from the still silence of nature in its final days of summer. Indeed, surrounded by vast green plains, this particular area gives that open space feel of freedom and tranquility we all lack in our daily megalopolis reality. Let's go down. It is here that you will find your magnificent fishing spot, perfect for catching largemouth bass, white crappy and red fin pickerel. And if you're good enough, you might even land a channel catfish, silently lurking in deep underwater holes of the river's muddy bottom. Well, I've never heard of any of those fish, but if you are a true fisherman, I'm sure you will have done. Right, so, um, I think at this stage we should probably just check out a few of the things around here. Um, day one, obviously, is where we are. It looks like the forecast is for 19 to 30 degrees. Maybe that's um, 19 for nighttime, or 30 for daytime, I'm not sure. Wind speed is 1 meter per second southeasterly wind, so that is no issue at all. Um, it says here, in late summer, and early fall, the most productive fishing time is around late morning and early evening when the sun is high enough. Yeah, right, so we'll have to take that into account when we're doing our fishing. Um, now, I don't want to drag this out too much, but I just want to show you the whole interface here. This is our inventory, and this is where you can choose what you actually have on yourself. Um, clothing, tackle, all that kind of stuff, um, and bait, of course. We have bread and red worms. Now in the tutorial I had red worms for the larger fish and bread for the smaller fish. To change your bait over in your inventory, you literally just drag and drop. It's very simple. It's all very easy. There are also um, licenses which you have to have, I believe, fishing licenses for different areas. I think this is all in the USA, but again, don't hold me to that because it's all new to me. Uh, moving on, we've got the, the actual shop. So you can go and get your different things or your essentials. Uh, and in, in that shop, of course, there are um, all different categories, so your rods, reels, lines, tools and equipment, terminal tackle, lures, bait, licenses, and then you've got your premium shop. So you have to actually play this for yourself. Like I say, I think it is coming very soon. I can't give you an exact date, but I think there is one sort of due. Uh, this is my profile, Dagoin. Uh, I've caught five fish and I've got one trophy. There are achievements. These are my trophies. I, I think it's because I caught these two different fish. Um, we've then got, I think this is like what, what you actually catch. Anything you catch will appear here in your, fi in your fish keep net. These three things are coming and this 
is the leaderboard, so you can compete against other people, uh, gain experience, increase your level, and become the number one fisherman. Okay, so I think we should probably get cracking now. We're going to go fishing. And um, I'm not 100% sure on the actual objective here. I think it's, it's just like you can just do what you want kind of thing. Just go fishing, relax. It's a really relaxing kind of game. I think we better get our lure and bait in there. Now we're using red worms with hook number eight today. I'm not sure what the difference is between hooks, but there will be a difference. Um, but yeah, if, if this is your kind of thing, this is just going to be absolutely amazing. Because I can already see it, it's got good graphics. And for me, who isn't really into fishing, it still seems really good. And I can imagine it's very addictive as well when you've been playing for a while. Right, so when, when that starts to go drifting away, oh, that, that was one, that was a fish. Tell you what, we'll bring it back in again. Put it somewhere else. Give me some fish down there. Basically, you're watching your float on the right hand side of the screen and also the one in the water if you want to. When it starts to get a pull on it, that's when you got your fish. And then you've got to pull it in, reel it in. You gotta pull the rod though to get it to actually hook. And if you weren't quick enough like I wasn't then, um, it would time out. I think there's something, is something there? Something there? I think, yeah, I've got one, I've got one. Come on, reel it in, reel it in. Come on, oh, look at that. Strike turned out again. You gotta get your line sort of reeled in um, so that you have got time to pull it in. You see now I'm reeling it in. Now I've thrown it in. And then you right click and you pull it so it actually hooks the fish. That, that's one, whoa, look at that. That is an amazing one. It's a bluegill. Um, there are no restrictions to this one, and that's at the weight of, of the uh, actual fish. And that's the length. I think we'll keep it. It's a souvenir. Okay, let's go for another one. Let's see what we can catch this time. I'll reel it in a bit. Nothing. Uh, I thought there was something on there then. Right, we'll keep it at three meters. Then, yeah, strike done too early. So there was a fish there, it's just I pulled away. The graphics are just brilliant though. And you can walk about, it's not like you're just stuck on the side of the riverbank here. And also, if you move your rod about, you can see the water rippling where the line goes in the water. It's actually got very good physics. The um, wind direction, you can see, is affecting the float. It's actually drifting downriver, southeasterly. Not very much, it's not a windy day, but it is moving. In the tutorial where you learn, uh, there's no wind at all, the float just stays where it is. No nibbles yet. You can also see in the lower left hand corner, uh, other people commenting, you can see what they've got. Oh look at that, got another one. I've got a pumpkin seed. That's a pretty good one. Um, I think we'll release it. We don't need it. Okay. Let's try and get another one. Yeah, so lower left hand corner, other people in the world who are playing, um, you can see exactly what they're catching. Got one there, got one. Strike done too early. Ah. Oh. Uh, let's try it over here. So everyone can see that the player Daggerwin caught a 0.2 kilogram pumpkin seed. I can see other people, like um, 
Steiger there caught a 0.7 kilogram young channel catfish. Yep, yeah, I thought there was something on there then. You see, if you know what you're doing, if you're an experienced, like, if you do this in real life, on a riverbank, um, you'll know exactly what you're looking for, and I'm sure you'll be much better than I am, because I am not good at fishing. Yeah, let's go over here. There's some ripples in the water, so I'm sure there's some fish in there. Also some uh, reeds over there. Let's just reel it in a bit. We could actually change the bait as well. We could use bread instead. We've got one. It's another bluegill. Uh, not a big one. We'll keep it. Now if we go into here, this is everything we've caught. Um, and you can, this is the experience that you gain from catching that fish. This is your reward, and this is obviously when you did it. These are the specifications of the fish itself. Um, and there's a little description about the fish which you've just caught. So I've caught three. Uh, I let one go, the pumpkin seed. But the two blue gills um, I have kept. Um, I don't know how many I can keep. Up to four point, well, four kilograms basically. Um, that is in our stringer, which is where you store your fish. Uh, so, yeah, I think what we'll do now is we'll move over to the pike challenge. As you move a bit further down the west bank of Mudwater River, walk past some bushy green shrubs to discover a gradually sloping shallow area with a narrow strip of sandy shoreline. Here, right next to an old sunken log, you'll find yet another ex excellent fishing location. So get out your fishing rod and try your luck at catching a trophy pumpkin seed, I did get a, a pumpkin seed, or a juicy redfin pickerel as you rest your eyes on these ripply waters. Meandering past endless green plains of Missouri and mirroring the deep blue of a late summer sky, inhale the sweet scent of sun-scorched grass with an aftertaste of musky wet sand as you meditate patiently waiting for a, gr a good catch. And oh boy, the catch can be very satisfying with largemouth bass Chain pickerel and white crappie inhabiting this area. Your day will be anything but boring. Let's go. So here we are. This is the pike challenge. Welcome to the pike challenge. Let's get the, uh, the bait in the water. Now I probably should be changing hooks and bait and everything here, but uh, I don't know too much about them. I'm also not really experienced enough yet. We don't have the money to be able to upgrade our equipment. But I'm hoping you're getting a good idea of what this simulator has to offer. I think the wind speed is very similar actually on this one. Once I've caught a fish or two, I'll zoom out in the map and I'll show you other locations that you can go to. But I do believe you have to unlock those. You don't just start off being able to do that. We've got one. A young largemouth bass. 0.4 kilograms. I think we'll keep it. I assume you actually have to keep them actually to um, be able to get your reward and experience. I'm not too sure on that. It's a small sized specimen. Okay, one more. We've got a nibble. We have got a nibble. 
I might have got it. Strike done too early. Not quite. I could have done that. I could have got that one. Let's just wind it in a bit there. As soon as I get a nibble on there, we need to pull it and then it should hook it. There is, there's something on there. There is, there we go. That's it. Come on. There we go. It's the trophy white crappy. We've got it. 0 0.5 kilograms. We better keep it. I think. Let's just see. Uh, yeah. So we've got some experience from those. Also, very good reward from that one. All these were caught with the red worms. So I think we've done quite well. What I'm going to do is now zoom out. So here is today's um, achievements on here. The four fish, well actually technically it was five, but I let one go. No penalties, 14, uh, I'm guessing that's dollars reward. Uh, and one trophy fish. We did get a trophy fish. So 20 experience points and $14. Now if we come out of here, it will travel to the map. And this is the different locations that you can go to. So it's just a bit of an overview really. This is where we were just now. But it's all these down here and all these over here. So this game has got a great deal of potential. It's absolutely fantastic. If you're into fishing, I highly recommend it. Um, but yes, it is in beta. This is beta which I'm playing on at the moment. So obviously there's going to be some things in it which need ironing out. So don't take this as the finished product, whatever you do, because I'm sure there will be improvements, things which are going to be fixed in the future. This simulator isn't out yet, but I do believe it's going to be very soon. So thanks for watching. Hopefully I've inspired you to want to play this, and hopefully you will be able to in the near future. So thanks for watching, and bye for now.